Hey guys! So I am inside of a 1994 Toyota Provia van. Uh, and the customer brought this van to my shop because the check engine light is on. Uh, and here in Portland, you cannot have the check engine light on if you want to pass DEQ or emissions and get new tags and stuff. Um, so I'm going to scan for codes and see what's wrong. And now obviously, since this is a 94, it's pre-OBD2, so it's not like I can just plug in a scan tool and get the codes just generated to me. I have to actually do some work for them. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that. And now if you read the factory Toyota manual, it will tell you that you need a um, special service tool like 98043-something, something, something. You don't actually need that. Um, I just like to take a paper clip and bend it like this, and that's pretty much all you need. So, you need to start by lifting up the driver's seat. And right underneath the driver's seat, pretty much right where the little releases for the seat. You can see there's the diagnostic box. Oops, angle. <laughs> so hard and I can't see. Okay, diagnostic box. And um, if you open up the diagnostic box, pretty much right next, uh, or like on the back of the cover, you can see that each single one of these pins has a little name, a little abbreviation for what it stands for. Um, and just check code, you're gonna use TE1 and E1. And I'm just gonna take my paper clip and stick TE1 and E1 together. Um, that's pretty common for all Toyotas. Of course, I can't tell if you can see this, but hopefully. And then we're gonna take the key, stick the key in the ignition, and just turn it to accessory mode, not all the way on. Um, and then, when a couple things happen on the dash, just make sure that you can see. Okay, so first things first, our overdrive light is flashing, basically means there's no code stored in the transmission computer. And you can see that the oil level light is flashing, um, but see how it's just flashing once, and then it's stopping for about five seconds, and then flashing again. That means that there's no problems with that system, but what is happening is that the check engine light itself is flashing. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna count the number of flashes, kind of like Morse code. So for example, we just saw two flashes and then another two flashes side by side, code 22. There's four flashes and then three flashes, so code 43. seven, and one. And there's a big pause, so it looks like we just have three codes, a 22, a 43, and a 71. And then we'll see 